Hey guys, in our last video, we learned how to install multi-send certificate uh, on our call manager, publisher, subscriber, as well as I'm present. Uh, now, in this video, we'll just focus on installing a certificate uh, for individual servers, for example, USCX and Unity Connection. So, let's get started. I'll log into the Unity Connection Publisher, Unity Connection Publisher as well as UCCX. But for UCCX, I think I might not be able to do until unless uh, I'm uh, integrating it with COSIM, but let's try. I'll just log into CM platform. So that's the direct way to uh, log into the uh, OS administration. So I don't have to navigate to administrator first and then navigate to OS administrator. So let's do the same for UCCX. Let's see if it works. Okay. So as you see, I'm getting an error in the certificate for uh, Unity connection. So that means the uh, certificate is definitely not working and same for UCCX, I'm also getting an error. If you see here, okay. So what I'll do is I'll log into Unity connection server. Click on continue here on the UCCX side. And let's see if I am able to access the OS administration. Yes, I'm able to access, so I will be able to install the certificate in that case. Okay, log in. So I'll go one by one first. I'll do the installation for uh, the Unity connection and then for uh, UCCX. Before that, what I'll do is I'll uh, delete the uh, Tomcat certificate CSR as well as CUCM certificate, which we have used in our last um, video. I'll delete them and I'll only keep the C root certificate, which is going to be common for uh, everything for your CUCM as well as Unity Connection and UCCX. Okay, as I said again, I'll navigate to security, certificate management, close, generate CSR. Is that what you need to click on? Now here, you'll not get a uh, multi-send because there is only one Unity connection. So in this case, you don't get, uh, you don't have any option to choose from the drop-down menu as you had in the call manager section, because in the call manager, you had subscribers as well as I'm in presence. That's the reason you got an option for multi-send certificate. So I'll click on generate here. <clears throat> Okay, so certificate signing request generated. Click on close here. So now what you need to do is you need to download the CSR. So I'll click on download. Here you need to have Tomcat and download CSR and save this file. Click on desktop and I'll just name it as CUC Tomcat so that we are not confused. Okay, I'll open the file with a notepad and then I'll copy this. CSR. Now let's log into the Windows Administrator um, Certificate Authority. UCC IN WinAD. So it is going to ask me for the, sorry, I have to enter CERT SRV. It's going to ask me for the username and password. Now we'll request for a certificate, advanced certificate request, submit a request by using base64. And here we'll paste the CSR and then select web server and client certificate, click on submit. Now it is going to uh, give an option to download the certificate. Click 
Anchor. Yes. Download P64 certificate. Download certificate and we'll name the certificate as hmm, CUC cert. Let's save this file. Now we'll go here and then click on upload certificate. This is a Unity connection. So now you need to just click on upload certificate and change the certificate chain. So this will, uh, you have to make sure like pop-up is enabled. Otherwise uh, this window will not open. First you need to install the CS certificate, the root certificate I mean. So which is common for all. So let's select the C root certificate and click on open, click on upload. So once you upload these, so you have to upload the Tomcat certificate, which we have just downloaded by generating the CSR. Okay, this is done. Now we'll upload the Tomcat certificate. We'll click on browse. We'll select the CUC cert and then upload. So once this is done, you have to restart the Tomcat service by running the command util service restart Cisco Tomcat. Okay, looks like the certificate has been uploaded. We are not getting any uh, 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 value here. So it says certificate uploaded. <clears throat> so click on close. So what we'll do is we'll log into the Unity connection. Now we have to run this command util service restart Cisco Tomcat. Okay, so by the time this certificate is getting restarted, so what we'll do is we'll generate the certificate for uh, UCCX. Okay, for some reasons, I'm not able to open this page from here. Uh, this little, uh, menu bar is not opening. So let me use some shortcuts here. Uh, maybe I'll try to use this way. I'll put this at the end and let's see if it helps me. this worked. So what I'll do is I'll uh, generate a CSR for the UCCX. Click on generate CSR and we are going to select as Tomcat and click on generate CSR. Okay, certificate signing request generated. Click on close. Then um, it should have given me an option to download. Let me refresh this page and see. Yeah, I'm getting this option. Download CSR, Tomcat. So click on Save as CSR. I'll name this file as UCCX CSR. Okay, click on Open. Now I'll word wrap, copy this entire thing from here. Go to Active Directory. Uh, to go back, I'll go back to the same navigation, search, serve. Okay, request a certificate. Advanced certificate request, submit a request, Let's paste this here, web server and client certificate, submit. Uh, looks like there was some issue while uh, generating this certificate, uh, which we have to look into why this was not able to generate the uh, certificate. 
but anyways uh, uh, let's in the meanwhile uh, let's verify if uh, our unity connection uh, tomcat service was restarted or not okay the tomcat service was restarted so what i'll do is i'll close this window try to reopen here and see if we are getting an error in case of unity connection or not Okay, so Unity Connection certificate is also installed. So there was some issue in generating the certificate for uh, the UCCX. It is because of the uh, Windows uh, Certificate Authority, so which we have to look into why this certificate um, was denied by the policy model. So if uh, I'll try to resolve this, if in case if I'm not able to, I'll let you know uh, if it was. Uh, 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 if, if it was there was an alternative for this or not okay so to resolve this issue what I have done is uh, first I went here in the certificate authority and see why <clears throat> it has generated a field certificate so it says the public uh, key does not meet the minimum required size by the specified certificate template <clears throat> so it is because of the size of the uh, specified certificate template so what I did was I went to the certificate template and click on manage I duplicated this particular template web server and then it created a copy of web certificate as a duplicate and then here in the server uh, let me go get okay, tested in yeah, cryptography. I change the minimum size to 1024 and then click on OK. And I issued this as a <clears throat> certificate template. So once this was done, so what I have to do is I have to go to the server certificates, uh, submit a certificate request again. And this time, you uh, use the new certificate template instead of the old one. So I just pasted the CSR. And if you remember earlier, we were using web server and client certificate, but this time we are using the modified one, it's copy of web server and client certificate, which we created with 1024 uh, bits. And click on submit, save yes, base 64, download certificate. And then save we'll name this as uccx cert click save this file now this is your uccx so what we are going to do is we are going to upload the certificate first is the root certificate what we are going to install and then we are going to install the signed certificate <clears throat> So it looked like uh, the call manager was using 2048 bits and uh, UC6 was using 1024. So first install the Tomcat Trust. CA root cert, come here and then add the root certificate as we have done for other servers. Click on upload file. Now you have to upload Tomcat certificate, the signed one, which is UCC cert, and upload the file. So once this is done, we need to restart the service, Tomcat service, basically. Waiting for response, so certificate uploaded, done. Though it is not giving that we need to restart the Tomcat service, but let's do that.
So let's give it a couple of minutes so that the service can come up. Okay, so the Tomcat service has been restarted now. So let's verify this. So I'll just copy the URL from here and then try to open the URL and see if it gives me the certificate error or not. Okay, so if you see here, the certificate has been installed and there is no warnings of the certificate error. I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, see you in the next video where we are going to install uh, or integrate uh, COCM with uh, LDAP and see how the users are being reflected on call manager. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.